Okay, sounds good. Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. Set near the Mississippi River, Head of Passes is a play that centers on faith and family. Please welcome its writer, Terrell Alvin McCraney, to the program, and thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Wow, you're the playwright of this. So the, <laughs> so many months spent, right, right. with uh, pen and paper and thoughts in the middle of the night, I'm sure, and at the computer. Right. Well, initially, the first draft of the first production premiere of the play uh, was inspired by sitting down with the director, Tina Landau, and a group of actors, and we read the Book of Job. We just passed that old script around and mm -hmm. talked about it, talked about faith, its trials, and then I created a script about a couple of months later. Um, this production, particularly when we were approached by Tony Tacconi, who is artistic director at Berkeley Rep, he talked to us about his um, vision for his season. He talked to us about how this play was, um, would be a part of that ambitious season and asked if we could create something or use the play to really allow an intimate portrait of faith. Um, so we took this play about a woman at the head of passes. The head of passes is the mouth of the Mississippi River. Um, and she is in our home. And like you said on your last segment, sometimes we have natural disasters. Sometimes things happen to us that we cannot explain. And it's allowing a look at when those things happen to someone. What do we think? How do we figure out the way to go on, the path to go on? What happens to your faith? Um, when we question ourselves, when we question the larger question, why me, why us, why them? And to me, it was important to create a portrait like that, specifically a, an African-American portrait of that. You grew up in Miami, so you're not from the Bay Area. No. So how did you how did you this get involved in theater? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, that's true. Yes, exactly. Yeah. How did you get involved in theater? Um, I originally, uh, it's a really boring story now. No, but it's not. I'm sure it is. It's uh, but at the age of five, I started in plays. I was a cat in someone's play. Wow. Yeah, you got to start whisk, somewhere with the little whiskers and the little tail and uh, squirming around on someone's stage. And then since then, I I just kept. Um, being asked to do plays, to mm -hmm. remember speeches, to uh, uh, one Fourth of July recite the, um, <laughs> the preamble from the Constitution. And then uh, I was afforded, because we had a great education system at the time, um, really wonderful uh, avenues in middle school and high school to be in theater school, theater classes. And so all the way up and through grad school, I have had an amazing education in theater. Wow. So when you see your playwright actually being acted out, mm -hmm. what is that like for you? And, and how many rewrites do you have to do just because maybe it didn't, didn't translate well on the stage? I think of playwrights as, uh, you know, <laughs> there's that uh, famous uh, painter. I think his name's Raymond Saunders. Mm -hmm. He has his work in the Oakland Museum, I think. Sometimes he will go to the museum with his paint, and even though uh, uh, a Pictures finished, he'll sort of retouch. A little touch up here. A little touch up here and there, yeah. add a little color. Oh, I missed something. And I think that's the thing about plays is that they're living collaborations. Uh, each actor brings something new, and you want to give that actor a voice uh, or allow their voice to come through as magnificently as you can. And I'm told we have actually a clip of the rehearsal, so let's take a look and you can talk about it after. Awesome. Okay. I got a guest come. I told you close. How you know they ain't close? Family. This person know your heart. You riddling me, Aubrey. I ain't. You went? You went and got your sister? Hell no. Mind, Aubrey. Excuse me, mama, no. I ain't get cookie. I ain't heard from her. Creeka said she coming. Creeka talk too much. I called her like you asked. Well, I called down there where she stayed by because she ain't got no phone. She say to the lady who phone she be using, she might come. What kind of answer is that to give your mama? Look at you, all. Judging on that girl. She come here tonight. She looking to see her people. Can you show her? Can you show her that and not what the rest of the world do? Can we try that when she comes? I ain't studying whether she is or no, because I'll let her know here's where she want to be. Oh, wow. Where are you sitting in there? Are you, are you right by them or what are you no, doing? I'm all the way in the back because I know the camera's on. So I'm, <laughs> You're way back. I'm like, no, no, <laughs> don't make sure I'm not in the picture. That, that's interesting. That, uh, the, the actress, Sherilyn Bruce, yeah. actually was my professor at DePaul University. Um, I, worked with, I was her stage manager. And I remember from her class how specific she was about language. And so when creating this piece, um, this Job-like character, right. um, I wanted someone who was that specific about language. And she was the perfect fit. And Francois, who, was all, who plays Aubrey in the play, and I studied at uh, the British American Dramatic Academy in Oxford one summer. 
Um, and I just, you know, fell in love with those actors. It's so amazing to have them a part of my piece. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. really amazing to meet you. Let me shake your hand before you become oh. an Academy Award winner. Oh, and I can say I, I, <laughs> I know you. Thank you so much. We thank look you. forward to um, your head of passes. And for more information, you can log on to berkeleyrep.org. That's berkeleyrep.org for all the information on that. That's it for this week. We'll be back with more Bay Area Focus next week. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.